to Jason's Acoustic Workshop. This is going to be part two in uh, the uh, series where I'm going to be showing you some of the gear that I use. And like I said, this is the Europower PMP2000D from Behringer. Okay? I had somebody uh, send me a message, hey, when are you going to do part two of this series? Well, um, I've had a lot of um, gigs the past week. Um, my schedule is completely full. If you go on jamesonplugged.blogspot.com or just Google Jameson Plugged, you'll see the show dates. I mean, I have a bunch of shows. So I'm going to be doing this as often as I can. Uh, not going to be, these videos are not going to be too long, but we're going to try and uh, uh, do more than uh, what I've been doing. I'm going to try. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to daisy chain your speakers because like I said with this here you only have uh, one hole for the main one hole for the monitor if you're using the main monitor mix okay so we have it plugged in we have our wires right here uh, like I said you need the quarter inch wires or the uh, wires that have the uh, four pin connector and if you don't have the four pin connector I have them here I had to buy some adapters as you see here it's got a quarter inch female right there and the four pin connector right there now I'm going to plug this into the main which is the bottom basically you put it until it goes in like let's see here, like this right there push it in and then twist it locks in place okay so there you go so what I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and add a wire because I use quarter inch wires, that's what I have. I'm not going to go and buy the four pin connector wires. I'll just use the adapters and they work just as good. Okay, so I'm going to connect the, four, uh, the uh, quarter inch into the adapter with the four pin connector. Okay, and these are my uh, monitors that I use. I'm just using monitors because they're, really, they're smaller. Okay, so each one of these is an input. Doesn't matter which one you use, you can use whichever one you want. Okay, so. What we're going to do is I'm going to turn this puppy on, okay, and I'm going to turn it around so you can see that it's on. Let me make sure that I have the wires out of the way, like that, okay, and as you can see, hopefully you can see it, the wires are connected and the uh, thing is on. Okay, the Behringer's on. So, like I said, I have these pressed down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that wire that I used to connect to the back. I'm going to put it into one of the speakers. We're going to put it into this one right here. Okay? Now, it's on. So, and being that YouTube has so much copyrighted stuff, you put a copyrighted song on YouTube, and they flag you and they will not let you show your video so I'm just basically gonna get my guitar and I'm just gonna play around and you can listen to it okay so let me get my guitar I'm gonna plug it in get the wire here okay I'm gonna plug it into the guitar it's like so like that and okay that's basically just acoustically nothing come out of the speakers okay let me move this over a little bit here you can still see the okay now it's connected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect the guitar I usually go through a pedal but right now I'm just going to go in just like that okay make sure you have like I said you have that 25 decibel see there we go so if you bring it turn it up so we're going to bring it down okay can hear the reverb. We'll bring the reverb up a little bit, that way you can listen to it. Ooh. 
Yeah, that sounds good. And like I said, you could have all these different, you could have, let's put it on uh, delay. Go over to 10. Push on it. Then. Okay, now it's only coming out of the speaker here. So what you're going to do, put this down like this. So, to daisy chain them, you're going to grab another wire, just like this, quarter inch wire, and you're going to plug it. There's usually two holes in the back of the speakers, okay, two holes. So, one goes in to here. And the other one, you plug it into here, into that one, and it will go into this one. Okay, now you're going to have sound coming out of both. So you pick up the guitar. We'll go back to the reverb here, that we're not getting the... So now you have them coming out of both speakers, and that's how you daisy chain. Um, like I said, if you have a amp that has two outputs in the back for your main, use them. Um, if you don't, like I said, this only has one, you will plug one wire into here, it will go into there, then you will take another wire, put it into here, and go into the other speaker. Okay? That's called daisy chaining. Now what happens is, each one you have 8 ohms. When you daisy chain, it goes down to 4 ohms. You can only go down to, uh, you look on your if you have a speaker, look at the, uh, the ohms. If it says maximum of four, only go to four. That's all you can do. If it says eight, you can only do eight. So, um, that's, that's daisy chaining. It's very simple. Uh, if you have, like I said, if you have two wires but you don't have, uh, I mean, if you have one input and two speakers, you can still make it come out of both. Is how you do it. Thank you for watching. Like I said, we're going to be. Uh, what I'm going to think. What I'm going to do next time. We're going to stick with this for now, and we're going to show you the different uh, effects that are on here. But like I said, for this time, we're going to be doing just. I'm going to. I was showing you how to daisy chain because some people don't know how to do it. But now you how to do it. Tell your friends to watch this video, and you can see how it's done. Okay? So, I'm Jason. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I've, I've seen a lot of people subscribing. That's really good. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with some more lessons pretty soon. Um, but right now, I want to show people, like I said, if there's people out there that are just starting and want to know what to get, then this is what this series is for. Okay, so like I said, daisy chaining, if you have to rewind it or, or go back to the beginning and, and, and watch it again, please do. Okay, so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.